Now to the improbable rise of Jelly Roll. The former inmate turned country music sensation. His soul-stirring lyrics and hard knocks life inspiring countless fans to hold on, seek help, and begin to heal. Here's Nightline's Ashan Singh. What is happening? That's what's going through my head. Who's, whose shoes am I wearing, you know? So much history in this room for me. There's not another place on earth that'll be more special than playing your hometown arena. For this self-proclaimed son of a sinner, Jelly Roll, none of this was ever supposed to happen. I'm a battle to the high. If you ever wonder why we... I'm surprised I didn't get killed, to be honest. But even deeper than just my own personal struggle with addictions, I thought everybody just knew tons of people that died of overdoses. A kid from the streets of Antioch, Tennessee, with a big build and face tats, is now the second coming of country music, with hits like Need a Favor. If I hold it, talk to God when I need a favor. Now taking the country music stage by storm and landing on the cover of Billboard magazine, how many times were you told this space isn't for you? Oh, you know, I was told by every label in Nashville that this place wasn't for me, but I wanted to play the Grand Ole Opry. I was a Nashville kid that grew up loving country music. I want to meet Tim McGraw. Somebody save me. Jelly Roll found his voice in 2020 when he released Save Me, the song hitting platinum. What do they call it, the overnight 10-year success story? You know what I mean? It was just crazy. Because he doesn't shy away from his story of pain, Prison and addiction. That vulnerability striking a deep chord with his fans. Life has shattered my hopes and my dreams. In the middle of the pandemic, we put it on YouTube. We never spent a dollar running an ad. I just looked up and it was at a million views. And then five million, and then 20, and then we broke 100. Every record label in America started calling. When you realize all that you've done, that kid from Antioch who couldn't get the studio time, right, in, in Nashville. <laughs> now he's selling out the Grand Ole Opry. Now he's selling out Bridgestone Arena. What has this moment meant to you, man? I think I stop every day and try to think about it. I couldn't have even told myself in my juvenile cell this was gonna happen. I could have never guessed. What well, 15-year-old do you think, man? We seeing you right now. It's insane, dude. I mean, this thing's becoming a landslide. Big tours, baby, big fucking tours. First topic record charts as an emerging artist. Jelly Roll has since racked up three CMT Music Awards. The star just releasing his debut country album. His life at its rawest. The subject of a new ABC News Studios documentary. I've been to jail 40 times in my life. I never made it out of the ninth grade. I'm really a street kid that had absolutely nothing going for him. You're awesome. Thank you, Thank you so much. Why do you think you mean so much to people? I represent overcoming. I represent the guy that wasn't supposed to make it, making it. And I think that's how we all feel sitting at home, right? Is that there's a, like this glimmer of hope when a guy like me makes it through the cracks. When I was that kid in that juvenile cell, I thought that's all I'd ever be. I thought I'd be inmate 00364950 the rest of my life. That's what I would have assumed. His songs come from a real place. See the sunrise in her New music, y'all. Jelly Roll, who was born Jason DeFord, drawing on his own past pain with his mother and a troubled childhood for songs like She, a song about drug addiction. The first time my aunt heard it, she texted me and said, this is your mother. Could see the sunrise in her eyes. Before the cold November rain, if you only knew her smile, you never know that she's in pain. You never know that she's in pain. And it's like these moments that I'm capturing where I'm, I'm envisioning watching the life leave someone's eyes. You know what I mean? It's like I'm seeing that in my mother when she get in her dark places. For Jelly Roll, sharing his struggles provided an outlet for healing. And it's why he visits rehab centers for those fighting addictions. Hey, how are you? Hey. Sobriety is always hard, but this is the hardest part. How are y'all? For those of y'all that don't know, my name is Jelly Roll. I'm a musician, not a public speaker, so work with me. My child's mother 
was a um, recovering heroin addict. My mother struggled with addiction. I have a brother that struggled with addiction. I've had a cousin that struggles with addiction. I was surrounded by so much addiction in my life. You choose to go to these recovery centers and continually give back. And I'm curious why. Imagine God puts you in a situation where he brings you through what he brought me through. And you have a heart to do anything but help people that were in the same situation you were in. Who was Jelly b before the music? Oh, dude, I, Jelly before the music was a scumbag. I was a horrible, horrible human. I was a less than desirable human. And I think that's why I have such a heart for service now and to help people is because I was a taker for so long that I wanted to be a giver for the rest of my life. What's up, Paul? How are you? Good oh, to good see good you again. I'm yeah. glad I caught you. Yeah, I'm glad I did. I'm... Paul Wooden Jr. works security guard at the world famous Grand Old Opry in Nashville, Tennessee. And when Jelly Roll was invited to play at the historic venue, the new face caught Paul's attention. He told his wife Donna, who was in a recovery home for drug addiction at the time. And she said, well, they play his music all the time. They, they, they did a story of his life, and his one song that he's got, Save Me, is a big song that she said that they played. They played a lot of his songs, but they told his life story of how he recovered, how he was at one place one time, and now where he's at now. You made it. <laughs> you made it, baby. So good. And you Donna. made it, more importantly. What's up, Miss Donna? Oh, we've been talking about you for a year. And we finally got to do it. I know. I'm a fan. Oh, oh, stop it. I'm ready. I got you. I got you. I got you. I mean, I'm like, I want her to save me. Yes, ma'am. Like, that's all she's saying. Save that's me. It. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you so much for everything, sweetheart. This is awesome. I'm always trying to speak for those who are unspoken for. I just want to be continue to be a voice of voiceless people because I was a voiceless person. I'm writing songs about stuff I know about, and I think that comes across to the listener. We came along way in Nashville. He's a superstar and the underdog. His story, one of redemption and triumph. Look up, bro. Oh, look at us, baby. Let's go. Jelly Roll is a walking contradiction. He was never supposed to be here, but he is, and he's taking over. I couldn't have dreamed this. I realized, and that's a message I have to kids, is that not only can you come out of your situation and do better, whatever you're dreaming of right now could be too small. You might be too small. You gotta dream big. Thanks to Ashen. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.